The Panama Canal stands as a testament to human ingenuity. It is a 50-mile waterway that connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. This incredible feat of engineering revolutionized global trade. Ships no longer had to make the perilous journey around the tip of South America, dramatically reducing travel times and costs. Before the canal, goods traveled long distances and often took months to reach their destinations. The Panama Canal changed all that. It facilitated the transport of goods between continents, fueling global trade and economic growth. The impact of the canal on our interconnected world is undeniable. It is a vital artery of commerce. The canal operates through a system of locks that raise and lower ships as they navigate the varying elevations between the oceans. Gravity and a complex system of valves manage the water flow. The canal is a marvel of engineering precision, a testament to the power of human innovation. The Panama Canal has played a pivotal role in shaping the world we know today. It has facilitated trade, connected nations, and stands as a symbol of human ambition and our ability to overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges. The construction of the Panama Canal was an epic undertaking, fraught with challenges. From disease to landslides, the project tested the limits of human endurance. The idea for a canal across Panama had been around for centuries, but it was not until the late 19th century that technology and ambition aligned, allowing the dream to become a reality. The French were the first to attempt the construction, beginning work in 1881. However, they faced numerous setbacks. Disease, particularly yellow fever and malaria, ravaged the workforce. Landslides and flooding also hampered progress. The French effort was ultimately abandoned in 1889. The United States took over the project in 1904, learning from the French experience. They focused on sanitation and disease control. Dr. William Gorgas led a campaign to eradicate mosquitoes, the carriers of yellow fever and malaria, significantly reducing the death rate among workers. The Americans also employed innovative engineering techniques, using massive steam shovels to excavate vast amounts of earth and developing new methods for controlling the flow of water. After years of arduous labor, the Panama Canal was finally completed in 1914. The Panama Canal is facing a growing threat water scarcity. The canal relies on a delicate balance of rainfall to feed the artificial lakes that supply the locks. Climate change is disrupting rainfall patterns, leading to droughts and water shortages. This poses a significant challenge to the canal's operation. The canal needs vast amounts of water to operate. Each time a ship passes through the locks, millions of gallons of fresh water are released into the ocean. This water is essential for raising and lowering the ships. Without sufficient rainfall, the water levels in the lakes drop, forcing the canal authorities to impose draft restrictions. These draft restrictions limit the maximum depth a ship can sit in the water, meaning larger ships have to carry less cargo to pass through the canal. This reduces efficiency and increases costs. In some cases, ships may be completely unable to transit, disrupting global trade. Water scarcity is a pressing issue for the Panama Canal. It underscores the vulnerability of even the most impressive feats of engineering to the impacts of climate change. Finding sustainable solutions to ensure the canal's continued operation is crucial for the global economy. As the Panama Canal grapples with water scarcity, a new contender for global trade routes is emerging, the Tehuantepec Corridor. This 125-mile stretch of land across the Isthmus of Tehuantepec in Mexico offers a potential alternative to the Panama Canal. It could reshape shipping routes between the Atlantic and Pacific. The Tehuantepec Corridor has several advantages over the Panama Canal. Its location is further north, making it less susceptible to hurricanes. It also has ample water resources and does not rely on a lock system, eliminating the water-intensive process of raising and lowering ships. The corridor is not a new idea. The potential for a trade route across the Isthmus of Tehuantepec has been recognized for centuries. However, it has gained renewed interest in recent years due to the Panama Canal's water issues and Mexico's investment in infrastructure. The Mexican government is investing heavily in the Tehuantepec corridor, aiming to turn it into a major shipping hub. This includes modernizing ports, expanding highways, and building new railways. The goal is to create a seamless and efficient transportation network that will attract businesses and boost economic growth. Building the future infrastructure of the Tehuantepec Corridor The Tehuantepec Corridor is undergoing a major transformation. Mexico is investing billions of dollars in infrastructure projects. They are modernizing ports on both coasts. The port of Salina Cruz on the Pacific side and the port of Coatzacoalcos on the Gulf of Mexico are being expanded. They are being dredged to accommodate larger ships. Modern cranes and cargo handling equipment are being installed. This will expedite loading and unloading times. The goal is to create world-class port facilities. These facilities can compete with the Panama Canal. They will attract international shipping lines. Beyond the ports, the corridor's overland infrastructure is also being upgraded. 
highways are being expanded and modernized, this will facilitate the swift movement of goods by truck, new railway lines are being constructed, these lines will connect the ports to industrial centers in Mexico and beyond. The Mexican government is also developing industrial parks and logistics hubs along the corridor, these will house manufacturing facilities, warehouses and distribution centers, this will create a comprehensive trade ecosystem, the ecosystem will attract businesses and create jobs. A tale of two routes. Comparing the Panama Canal and Tehuantepec Corridor. The Panama Canal and the Tehuantepec Corridor represent two distinct approaches to connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The Panama Canal is an established route with a century of history. It is known for its reliability and its ability to handle large ships. However, it faces challenges related to water scarcity and its reliance on a lock system. The Tehuantepec Corridor is a newer alternative. It offers advantages such as its geographical location, ample water resources, and the absence of locks. However, it requires significant investment to develop its infrastructure fully. It needs to establish itself as a reliable and efficient trade route. One key difference is their mode of transport. The Panama Canal relies on ships traversing its waterway. The Tehuantepec Corridor utilizes a combination of ships, trains, and trucks. Goods are unloaded from ships at one port, they are transported across the isthmus. Then they are reloaded onto ships at the other port. Another difference is their environmental impact. The Panama Canal's lock system consumes large amounts of fresh water. This contributes to water scarcity in the region. The Tehuantepec Corridor's reliance on rail and road transport raises concerns about carbon emissions. It impacts air quality. Charting a sustainable course global trade in the 21st century. As we navigate the 21st century, the sustainability of global trade routes is paramount. The Panama Canal's water challenges and the Tehuantepec Corridor's carbon footprint highlight the need for innovative solutions. We need to balance economic growth with environmental responsibility. One approach is to invest in technologies that reduce the environmental impact of shipping. This includes developing more fuel-efficient ships. It includes exploring alternative fuels such as hydrogen and ammonia. It also includes optimizing shipping routes to reduce distances traveled. Another approach is to promote regional trade agreements. These agreements can help to reduce reliance on long-distance shipping, they can foster economic growth within regions, they can reduce carbon emissions associated with transportation. Furthermore, investing in sustainable infrastructure is crucial. This includes developing modern and efficient ports. It includes expanding rail networks, it includes promoting electric trucks. These measures can help to mitigate the environmental impact of global trade. Navigating the future innovation and resilience in global trade, the Panama Canal and the Tehuantepec Corridor stand as symbols of human ingenuity and our desire to connect the world. As we look to the future, it is clear that innovation and resilience will be essential for navigating the complexities of global trade. We must embrace new technologies, we must adapt to changing circumstances, we must prioritize sustainability. This will ensure that trade routes remain efficient, they will remain reliable, they will support economic growth while minimizing their impact on the planet. The competition between the Panama Canal and the Tehuantepec Corridor highlights the dynamic nature of global trade. As new challenges and opportunities arise we must be prepared to adapt, we must always seek innovative solutions. This will ensure that the flow of goods and services around the world continues to drive progress and prosperity.